RAF ruler is known as the Royal Air Force ruler. The ruler is mainly used in the orthoptics assessment and in the normal routine eye examination to find out the objective and subjective amount of convergence and accommodation in centimeters. RAF ruler consists of rotating four-sided cubical drum held on a slider. Each sides have the different accommodative targets with black prints on a white background. Side 1, a reduced Snellen chart, side 2, a section of general post office telephone directory, side 3, times Roman typeface, side 4, a dot on a line. The fixation target is used to assess the near point of convergence. To measure the near point of convergence, the dot on the line is used as the target. The patient and the examiner should maintain the same eye level and the patient should sit straight in his position with looking straight. The examiner holds the ruler and gently places the cheek rest of the RAF ruler on the inferior orbital margin. Near point of convergence is most accurately measured by the ruler in the depressed position of 45 degrees. Examiner asks the patient to focus on the black dot and slowly moves the target towards the patient's eyes at a constant linear speed. The subjective break point is indicated when the patient either reports diplopia or until the slider is stopped by the cheek rest. The recovery is noted when the patient reports one target when the slide is slowly moved back. The normal near point of convergence is between 6 to 8 centimeters. To measure the near point of accommodation, the reduced Snellen chart is often used. The patient and the examiner should maintain the same eye level and the patient should sit straight in his position. The examiner holds the ruler and gently places the cheek rest of RAF ruler on the inferior orbital margin and keeps the ruler straight. Examiner asks the patient to focus on the one line above the best corrected letters in the chart and slowly moves the target towards the patient's eyes at a constant linear speed. The near point of accommodation is noted when the patient reports the first sustained blur. The near point of accommodation is measured first binocularly, then monocularly, right eye and left eye separately. The first point of sustained blur is noted in centimeters. Normal value for the near point of accommodation can be verified with the Hofstetter's equation. 